friends. I am Anika Larson, a.k.a. Green Mom AF, and this is the Broadway vlog to save the planet, where I want to help you go from feeling helpless and hopeless to helpful and hopeful, which is what the UN Global Goals for Sustainability did for me. Today, we are going to talk about goal number 11, sustainable cities and communities. Sing it, Gregory. Sustainable cities and community. Yeah. And here to talk with us about it is Broadway star Telly Leung. <laughs> hey, Hi, Telly. Anika. How are, How are you? you? You are in. You're across the pond. You're in <laughs> London right now, on the West End, doing Allegiance. Right? It's late for you there. And I just finished doing a Tuesday night show, as you do, and I'm thrilled to be with you here. Well, we're so glad you're finishing your British day. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello. It's trying to sound like a bell. So, of course, Telly, you also did Allegiance on Broadway, and Telly has also been on Broadway in Flower Drum Song, Pacific Overtures, Rent, In Transit, Aladdin, and Godspell. And I met Telly years ago doing an earlier version of that Godspell at Paper Mill Playhouse. Telly is here to talk about sustainable cities and communities because he is one of a rare breed. He is a unicorn because he is a member of the New York City theater community who was actually born and raised in New York City. That's that right. Happens. I am Brooklyn, born and bred. I am a, a native of Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, which is in the south of Brooklyn, all the way at the end of the R line. So if you ever fall asleep while taking the R train going south and you forget to get off your station. Go have dinner at Telly's house. That's right. Um, I'm still very much Aww. a Brooklyn boy. And I also went to public school here in New York City. I went to McKinley IS259, which is in Bay Ridge. And then I ended up going to Stuyvesant High School downtown, which is a math and science school. So some of the initiatives you know, satisfies the science nerd in me as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, so as the science nerd, can you please tell us what this goal for this global goal actually is? It is to make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable. Sing it, Gregory. Make cities and human settlements resilient, safe, sustainable. Uh -huh. The world's population is constantly increasing. So to accommodate everyone, we need to build modern and sustainable cities. For all of us to survive and prosper, we need new intelligent urban planning that creates safe, affordable, resilient cities with green and culturally inspiring living conditions. Yes. And you know what I love about this global goal is that it is the one that says that it is vital to be culturally inspired to prosper because, of course, that is where we come in. That is what we do as artists. When when people think of, of making cities and communities sustainable, they think about recycling or public transportation, <laughs> but it also means protecting and supporting our cultural institutions, Broadway being one of them, right? And it means making sure people feel included represented and safe. There's an organization mm. that you support that does this for our smallest citizens. New York City Children's Theater. They are doing so much to help young people in our city feel included, represented and safe and to feel joy and pride in their community. You know, Telly, like with a lot of these efforts, they're really, they're helping to achieve way more goals than just number 11. Yeah, uh, New York City Children's Theater brings arts and education programming into schools, community centers, homeless shelters. They use theater to help kids with literacy, language, social skills. They also do anti-bullying programs. They created this innovative toolkit to help grown-ups work with kids who've experienced trauma. And what I love is that they also make sure that their programming is accessible to and inclusive of all so that they have adaptations for multilingual learners, students with disabilities. And of course, New York City Children's Theater puts on shows, right? Shows that make sure that all New York City kids have access to shows with stories and casts that represent the diversity of New York City and reflect back to each child the value of their unique lived experience and cultural heritage. And just like kids need public green spaces, they also need arts spaces to grow and thrive where they understand their place in the world and the impact that they have and to find their own voice. Okay, so that is just one great example of something that the theater community is doing to achieve goal 11. And globally, if we widen the lens back out, some of the other targets of this goal are... The targets! To ensure safe and affordable housing for all. Provide access for all to safe, affordable, sustainable transport systems. 
Provide universal access to green and public spaces. Protect the world's cultural and natural heritage. Implement policies to ensure inclusion, dealing with climate change, resilience to natural disasters. And we've got to support least developed countries financially and with technical assistance so that they can build sustainable cities and communities too. What can I do? Our problems can seem so massive and the solutions so out of our control that we feel overwhelmed and helpless, but you're not powerless. There is always something you can do. There is something that is manageable for you in your life. If we all just keep doing the next right thing. Do the next right thing. Together, we can achieve these goals. Yes, we can. Of course, you can always find a Goal 11 charity and donate money. You can commute in a sustainable way. Bike walk, take public transportation. I love city bike. Shop, eat, and drink locally. I love drinking locally. Hey, who does that? You can also volunteer to build houses or take care of our green spaces. Or support literacy and arts programming in your local libraries, community centers, and arts organizations. And always, and I think this actually is the most important one, stay informed and vote. 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 Vote, 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 vote. All righty. And as always, Telly, we end the Broadway vlog to save the planet with the lightning round. <laughs> the lightning round. I'm, ex I'm excited and scared. I'm not even saying it ironically. So the clock is going to start now. Oh. What activist or leader would you most want as your high school drama teacher? Golda Meir. What role have you always wanted to play but have never gotten to play because you were quote unquote the wrong gender? Evita Perone. Do you love the taste of New York City water as much as I do? I think New York City tap water is the champagne of tap water. If we could generate Delicious. the power to light Broadway shows through human exertion, would you rather do it by tap dancing, blowing a trombone, or bench pressing ushers? Oh, full app ball change, tap dancing. If there was a blackout and you were trapped inside a theater, where would you go to feel the most safe? I experienced a blackout in 2003. I was rehearsing a show. Blackout. I walked to Chinatown, met my mom, and we walked across the Brooklyn Bridge and we walked home. And I have to say, during a blackout, New Yorkers, we know what's up. We took care of each other that night when the lights went out. Approximately 10 hours later. There was music on the streets. People offered you water as we walked all the way home to Brooklyn. We handed out candles to each other. We emptied out our fridges to give food to people. So you know what? Blackout, New York City, we got you. We're safe. Blackout, blackout. That is the slowest lightning round answer probably ever, and I'm not mad about it because I love that answer so much. True or false, theater makers, as storytellers, are uniquely positioned to shine a light on inequality and injustice and to help rectify it. True. True! Since a revival of a show is basically reusing, recycling, repurposing it, so it's super good for the planet, what show would you want to recycle to star in? <gasps> Les Miserables and I would power that turntable by tap dancing. Sing Under the Sea from the Little Mermaid, go. Oh gosh. I actually don't know the words. Who has been one of your favorite people to work with in this business? You know what, I'm gonna have to give a shout out to my co-star right now, George Decay. Pretty incredible. Thank you, Telly, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this time with Telly as much as I did and you want to hear even more, join me on the Broadway Gives Back podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. My friends, when you are ever feeling down about it all, know that the climate revolution is a groundswell with more and more people every day out there innovating, problem solving, making good trouble, all in the ways that make sense for them and who they are and you can too. If we all take Arthur Ashe's advice, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can, then together we are going to make a greener and fairer and more prosperous world. Mm -hmm.